Hey guys, my name is Ravi Sharma and I am the founder and buyer's agent here at Search Property. Thank you so much for joining me on yet another episode of Search Property TV. Today's episode is about whether paying off your mortgage early or investing that extra cash flow into investment properties is a better idea. Let's jump in. It's really tempting to pay off debt quickly. And that too, if that debt is attached to your home, it's even more attractive because that for so many people is the biggest cost you'll incur. But is there an alternative? If that extra money that you could have spent investing in properties, is that better in terms of what your long-term wealth looks like? Well, in this video, we're gonna dive into what are the pros and cons? Uh, understanding if we go down the path of paying down our home loan early, what does that exactly mean? And on the flip side, should we even pay it off? Now again, building your wealth by simply paying down your loans and having equity positions there doesn't mean you shouldn't be investing into properties as well. Now, of course, there are people out here that'll say, well, no, debt's bad, I wanna get rid of debt, I hate it. But this video is really about those that can see beyond that, that can actually understand what the current economy is and what exactly does that mean moving forward? With Australia's residential interest rates at historic lows, we really are pushed into a position to really question whether paying down our debt is gonna make more sense. Now, 10, 15, 20 years ago, we had interest rates of 10% plus, right? Now, the last interest rate increase we have seen in Australia was 10 years ago. And that was following the GFC when we had cut so many times to then have the government try and test the system by putting up interest rates. That had a detrimental effect on the economy. And so they quickly realized they aren't able to actually increase interest rates for the foreseeable future. Now, of course, we've had COVID happen and we've got the government printing money. We've got all the stimulus running around in the system. It really begs the question to be asked, are interest rates actually gonna go up or are they gonna go down? Now, I personally have explored my thoughts and you can check that video out with a card up here, but it's basically around why I think negative interest rates is pretty much the only option we have left in Australia. And I think we're gonna see interest rates go into negative possibly early in 2021. Now guys, before we jump into the nitty gritty of the video, I want you to please subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me that if you can, and if you like this sort of content, well then this is gonna be beneficial for you. You'll know exactly when the next video drops, if you smash that bell icon and leave the thumbs up because then our fellow folks at YouTube will push the video to the people that need it most. Guys, I'm not your financial advisor. If you do seek that sort of advice, that personal advice, then you should contact our team. We can point you in the right direction. Reasons why you should actually pay off your debt early is that number one, if you are bad at money management, you probably don't need debt. <laughs> what I often see is when people don't really have that discipline to save or to put it into certain accounts, that certain money that needs to go where it needs to, well then, Sadly, you shouldn't be on Afterpay and ZipPay. You shouldn't be getting credit cards. You shouldn't be getting car loans. You need to pay down debt ASAP. This may be the right direction for you. It may be that you live debt free and you continue working in something you like, and that's okay. That's definitely okay. It's not about just becoming financially free and living off investment properties. Like Ravi says, I'm all about happiness. And if happiness comes in the form of more choice, and that's allowed through a vehicle like real estate, that's why I push it, right? For me, that's exactly what the answer was. If I was able to have real estate, build my wealth there, then I would be able to actually go and you know, start a passion business, to be able to go and take up a job where I didn't really have to care about how much money I was making. I was more concerned about having the work-life balance. And I think for a lot more people, they're realizing, especially during COVID, that life balance is important. It's not just about working really hard to make an extra five or 10, $15,000, when realistically, if you put in the hard work early, you can just put away that money and put it into real estate, build that wealth over time, and the cash flow will allow you so much more choice. So guys, number two, mental health. For so many people, they're just consumed by the fact that they have the shackles of debt, especially when it's on your home loan. So for those types of people, you need to understand and be self-aware that maybe it's not about acquiring more investment properties and more debt. Yes, it might be a long-term strategy that actually works for you, 
But if your mental health is not there and you feel like you're going to sleep at night and you're thinking about this constantly, that, oh my God, I have debt, I need to pay it down, I don't want to owe anything to the bank, well then, pay down your mortgage, pay it down quickly. Because for so many, mortgages are the biggest stress that they're going to ever have in their lives, so you may as well take care of it early. Retirement and exit strategy. So exit strategies can come in the form of many tactics, but if you're looking at actually retiring and you want to get rid of that debt, well then it makes sense. Completely get rid of that debt, you know, when you can live in that property and if you've already got some investments and they've paid off their debt, well then why not? You can live debt free, you've got the cash flow that, you know, satisfies your income, so whether you work or not work, it's really up to you because the investments are now paying the dividends by being cash flow positive or no debt at all. So if you're looking at being close to retirement and you want to pay out that debt early, then I think it's a good idea. If you don't have any intentions to buy more investment properties because you've hit your number, well then you don't have to because there needs to be some sort of discipline and there needs to be a plan. And that's why I urge everyone to have a strategy session. There's a link in the description below and you should do so because how often are you sitting down and checking with your partner or with your family about long-term goals? What does life look like in five, 10, 15, 30 years? I know for me as a 28 year old now, it's very difficult for me unless I had to do this that I would sit there and be comfortable knowing what life could look like in 20 years. Oh, I'm gonna have kids. The thought of that is insane because I'm not ready for that, right? But everyone's different and the strategy needs to adapt accordingly. For some, investing instead is actually a more viable option and especially if you've got an open mindset and you're young, well, why not? So let's just think about this, right? If you've now gone and you've paid down your debt, it's amazing, I live debt free, are you financially free? No, you're not. You don't have any income coming through apart from the work you actively have to do. So it puts you into a position where suddenly, even by living in a house debt free, you still have to work for the next 30, 40 years. And the alternative is really just putting the extra income that you would have had to put into your mortgage into a savings account. Now guys, I think everyone knows what my opinion on this is. And judging by the amount of calls I'm getting, you guys are also realizing that savings rates at banks suck, right? They suck with a capital S, 1%, even less than a percent in some cases. It doesn't make any sense, especially when you've got inflation at one, two or 3%, you're really letting your money just flush away in the toilet. So what's the alternative, Ravi? What are we supposed to do? So look, you can go down the path of actually investing instead. Now, let's say for instance, we had $100,000 extra that we could save in that time that we paid down our mortgage, or we're able to take 100K of equity out of the home loan and actually use that to invest. What does that exactly look like? Well, if you just simply did pay that off and you had the 100K that you don't have as debt anymore and you paid it down, well, congratulations, you're saving two and a half thousand dollars a year if your interest repayments are 2,500 at 2.5%. However, if interest rates continue going down and we end up getting to 1%, well then you're saving $1,000 on $100,000. That to me doesn't really make sense, especially when we're looking at what else is possible, right? So if we jump into using the 100K to actually purchase two investment properties, worth $250,000 and $250,000, well, we're in positive cash flow territory, but we're not gonna consider that right now. We're gonna base this on capital growth. Now, a very, very conservative number of even 4% in terms of capital growth in this, you would still end up at the end of the year returning $20,000 in equity. Now, how I got that number was basically $500,000 is what your total asset would be worth. So the 100K, you would leverage, get another loan and purchase two investment properties. So one at 250,000, another one at 250,000. For the sake of this exercise, we know that these would be positive cash flow. However, we're just gonna say there's no cash flow, it's neutral, it pays down all the expenses, great. But what does the end position look like? Well, we've actually got two assets worth 250, 250 equaling $500,000. And at 4% growth, that's $20,000 in equity, which means if you decided tomorrow that in five years time, maybe you decide to sell that, well, your return is gonna be so much better 
than you having to save that income or that 100K in your bank account because you didn't want to have debt. When you're young, you have less risk, you have less desperation to actually retire because you've got your whole life in front of you. If you can even get two, three or four of these properties that sit there in the background, you're really gonna allow for compounding to take its effect. You're gonna have three or four cycles in that time and that's really gonna show you what's actually possible and the only regret you're gonna have is you didn't purchase more earlier. So guys, before we finish up on this video, I wanna make it very clear that this is not financial advice and everyone's strategy is different. Everyone has a different goal. Everyone has a different sense of direction. Not everyone wants 12 properties. Not everyone wants 30 properties. Some may actually just be okay with the two or three that fit well into their strategy and for their age. So that's why I urge you, if you're a bit confused, if you're looking at all these people on YouTube or you're searching and the uncles are talking and the cousins and the friends, you need to get quiet in your mind. You need to align yourself with a professional that's actively doing this day in, day out. I can help you if you can go and book yourself a strategy session. If you have not booked one in yet, it's free. Okay guys, it's free. We create a blueprint with you. We look at the roadmap and we see how we can help. You just have to bring the why, I'm gonna show you how, okay? Guys, in the comments down below, please let me know whether you're actually actively looking at investing or if you think it's a better idea to pay out debt, don't worry about debt and live financially free that way. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Search Property TV. If you've enjoyed this content, please smash the like button, subscribe down below and press the bell icon because, well, you don't wanna miss out if you actually want to take this seriously, if you want to take advantage of what I personally think is going to be the greatest time in our generation to build wealth, well then book in yourself a call. Guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.